Hi everybody, welcome back to Random Recess. It's Abed and Chris, and this is our last day on the Disney Wish. Yeah, we're on day four, we made it. It's our last and final day here on this beautiful cruise ship. We still have a lot to explore and do, including a walking ship of the tour. We're gonna see Aladdin the musical tonight, and we have dinner at 1923 for Thanksgiving. You don't wanna miss any of it, so make sure you're subscribed. And as always, y'all know what time it is. It's Thanksgiving, happy Thanksgiving to everyone out there, but it's also recess time. Let's go. All right, y'all, we all know, this is why we cruise. I've never been able to get this close to the front of a ship. All right, y'all, for this view alone, I think we deserve a like on this video. Yep, and maybe even a subscribe. Beautiful day, we're gonna enjoy it here on the Disney Way. All right, we're trendsetters now, there's a bunch of people up here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a beautiful day, man. The sea is super calm, there's a nice breeze. God, did you ask for better cruising weather? I don't think so. All right, y'all, Chris and I do have a reservation for Palo Brunch. However, that's gonna be a random recess restaurant review. It'll be a separate vlog, because we just, we just wanna be able to show you more than what we could fit in in a regular vlog. So we are in on 12 aft, and this is the hallway heading towards the Rose. Wow, look at this. It's so cool. Tell. This is Beauty and the Beast theme here. The Rose is a Beauty and the Beast inspired bar here on tw deck 12 in the aft of the ship. And uh, right behind it, you've got Enchante and Paolo, uh, which are specialty dining. Like Abed said, um, the specialty dining on The Wish is themed after Beauty and the Beast. So you have the Rose, uh, like the Enchanted Rose, with the, which is the lounge. Um, as you wait to go to one of the two specialty restaurants or you can just come up here and hang out uh, in the evenings. There's beautiful panoramic views. Then you have Enchante, which is curated by three Michelin star chef Arnaud Lalamont. I think I pronounced that right, maybe not. Um, and that's going to be like the top tier fine dining restaurant, similar to like Remy on other Disney ships. Um, and then you have Palo Steakhouse, which uh, we're going to be going to. Um, and it's cool because Paolo is themed after Cogsworth and Enchante is themed after Lumiere. Y'all, Disney Cruise Line does a really great job when it comes to gratuities, additional gratuities. It's really respectful, it's really classy. They put these envelopes, these envelopes in your room and they've got labels on them for head, head server, server, host, and assistant server. So your host is like your steward. And the idea is you actually put one of these slips. This tells you how much each of your server is actually getting from the prepaid gratuities that you paid. You do not have to hand, you don't have to put them in each envelope and hand it to them, but you can, it's a courtesy. And then if you wanted to add like additional gratuities, which Chris and I do, you can do so. And it's in a nice neat envelope. But I wanna call something out real quick. They don't get very much, if you really think about level of service so our server $19 per person from our gratuities that's how much they're getting from our prepaid gratuities so no these are prepaid gratuities the assistant server $15 from me and 15 from Chris again prepaid gratuities the head server $5 and this is like the overall manager the head server uh stateroom host you know the steward uh $19 as well per person per cabin you feel is appropriate you don't have to do it at all you don't even have to add additional gratuities it really just comes down to whatever you can spare if you can spare anything additional on top of the prepaid gratuities it's always nice it's a nice gesture so again way to go disney really love how you do the prepaid gratuities all right chris and i are here waiting for our guided ship tour at the enchanted sword cafe which is uh mid uh which is on deck five um, near the Grand Hall. Um, we're just waiting for our, I guess, our guide to show up. All right, walking tour. We're headed into Arendelle. We were here yesterday. <laughs> so here we 
decided to land on this giant open concept venue where everyone gets an equal seat to the show that will be happening here when you come to dine here. Now, has, has anyone eaten here yet already? Yes. yes. Is anyone eating here tonight? Yes. yes. Okay, so the show that you'll be seeing when you come to eat here is Queen Anna and Kristoff's Royal Engagement Party. And naturally, it's catered by none other than Wandering Oaken. Um, so when you do come here for dinner, you'll see the show will take place on the stage right in the center of the venue. Now right here at the entrance of the venue, you're welcomed in by two bronze statues, one of Elsa and one of Anna. Now a fun fact about these statues, they were first being designed, Frozen 2 had not yet been released, and so the concept art originally had the crown on Elsa's head. Not to spoil Frozen 2, but things have changed a little bit, and now the crown is on Anna's head. So we'll continue to make our way down into the restaurant, and you'll notice on the wall over here we have some of Elsa's things. Down here you can see her ca ice castle on the North Mountain, and up on that shelf we have Knock the Water Horse from Frozen 2. And as we continue to make our way down to the back of the restaurant, you'll see on the back wall on the left we have a sword and shield. Now that sword and shield is the sword and shield of Matthias, the royal god of Arendelle. Now if you look across the back wall of the restaurant, you'll notice that it's all windows. And that is the first in our fleet to have a restaurant like this. Now a fun fact, if you were to go all the way up to the end of these windows and look straight down, you'd see another Disney princess. Does anyone know what princess that would be? It would be Rapunzel. Rapunzel. So if you want to go ahead and take a look now, you can. This is the closest view you're going to get of Rapunzel your entire cruise. It's about Rapunzel. She's 8 foot 11 inches tall. Her hair is almost 60 feet long. And she would wear a size 22 shoes. The same size as Shaquille O'Neal. Now over here on this side of the restaurant, you can see we're starting to get some of, into some of Anna's things. Including over here, you can see her scepter and her orb that she holds during her coronation ceremony. Just like Elsa did when she did her coronation ceremony, hers kind of froze over, but these are actually ones that Anna will hold during her coronation. What did you think of that, Chris? That's pretty cool, the little uh, tidbits like the Norway pavilion in the back of that painting. I've never noticed that. Welcome to our grand hall. And now the cruises before, you may be more familiar with our atrium lobby. But here on the Disney Wish, we wanted to have a more elegant experience that welcomed you into a castle on the high seas. So you'll notice here around the Disney Wish, unlike our other ships where there's one typical style of art deco or art nouveau with the artistic focus of the ship, we will have an overarching theme. All right, this is our view for dinner. Look at that. This is our view for dinner, right outside the portal. So if you were wondering, we're dining in 1923 tonight and they have a specialty Thanksgiving menu, so that's cool. Everything's very Thanksgiving themed, of course, and you can get your traditional Thanksgiving dinner or something else. Pretty cool. Hey, we're dining in 1923 again tonight, and we just want to wish everybody a happy Thanksgiving. If you're watching this video, Thanksgiving has already passed, but nevertheless, hope you had a good one. All right, bread service has come. There is a sour cream and onion dip what is it sour cream and chive yeah sour cream and chive dip mm -hmm. there we go i'm, I'm dipping it that's gonna be good you know the sour cream and chive with i'm just gonna eat the last one i'm sure we can get more this cornbread is absolutely delicious dunk it in this sour cream and chive dip this is a winner but i don't want to say the best dip because that uh Roasted red pepper dip was amazing, but this is so good. Was I full to the gills after 1923 this morning? Yes. Did I swear I wasn't going to eat for the rest of the day? Also, yes. Am I hungry now and I'm going to eat again? Yep. <laughs> Welcome to a cruise ship life. That's, uh, you know, no judging. You just eat. All right, cheers, Chris. Cheers, Abed. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving, man. And happy Thanksgiving to anyone who's watching this, even though it'll be posted after Thanksgiving. That's right. And to all of our friends and family, happy Thanksgiving. I hope you guys had a wonderful holiday. Definitely thankful for each and every one of you in our lives. We love you so, so much. And thankful for another uh, wonderful year. You know, we had a good year. Been able to do a lot of traveling, visit a lot of places. Um, you know, we have our health and it's just generally been an awesome year. 2022 has been great and definitely thankful for uh, everything that we have. So can't state that enough, but we're missing all of our friends and our family today. Uh, wish you all were here with us um, soon enough. All right, so I got the seafood sampler. I also got the uh, croquettes. Chris can talk about the croquettes. The seafood sampler was really good. Uh, seafood for me is hit or miss. The shrimp was a little better than uh, our first night. Same exact shrimp, 
But essentially, it's like, it looked like it was salmon and cream cheese wrapped in like a tortilla uh, or a lavish. So good. That was absolutely delicious. And the smoked salmon really just tastes like, like really soft ham. And in a good way. So I would highly recommend that. All right, we both got the croquettes. Those were a hit. Croquettes were amazing. It's fried potato with some ham and cheese in it. Come on. Uh, and it came with this like, I, I think this is like a raspberry jam, but that paired so well with it because the sweetness of the jam cut through the saltiness from the croquette. It was fried perfectly. It was a hit. So far, 1923 has, you know, continued to prove that it's the best main dining option here on The Wish. Everything's been great so far. All right, so we got the, the turkey dinner. It came with turkey, gravy, dressing, some cranberry sauce on the side, sweet potato mash with honey and chopped pecans, and some roasted vegetables. And everything was really good. The turkey was super tender. Gravy was delicious. The dressing was awesome. The sweet potato mash is exactly how you think it would be. It was good. Um, no complaints about it at all. The star of the show were the pumpkin raviolis that we got. Ooh, those were delicious. So savory. The pumpkin filling was amazing. The raviolis were cooked really well. I had a recommendation by our server. We got the raviolis and that was that was a good move. Listen to your servers, guys. All right, Ben and I are gonna stop in here at Nightingale's to grab a drink before we get in line for a lap. So Nightingale's is a Cinderella-themed bar um, named after the song that she sings in the movie. And uh, it's an 18 and over establishment. They have a piano in there, and it's supposed to be really pretty with some really great cocktails. So let's go check it out. All right, so we've decided to stop in here at Nightingale's before the show to get a, a pre-dinner cocktail. We got the sweet Nightingale, which comes in a cool little bird glass. You actually get to drink out of a bird butt. It's got Hendrick passion fruit, rosemary, and mint. It sounds delicious, and it looks really good. So I'll let a bed try it and tell you. All right, y'all. This is the nightingale. It comes in this really cute nightingale glass with a glass straw. I took the mint out, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna give it a shot and see what it's like. It's perfectly balanced with the gin and the passion fruit. Uh, it's sweet, tart, and the gin, the flavor of the gin really comes out. Uh, plus it's an adorable experience. I mean, you can tell people you've drank out of a bird-shaped glass, out of a nightingale. Yeah. And I got the Stepsisters, which came with the cool smoke bubble you saw. Uh, so it's Don Julio 1942, Calvados, Drega, Lillet Blanc. So let's give it a shot. And the glasses that these drinks come in are just so gorgeous. Mmm. That's really good. So smooth. You get a little smokiness from the bubble that they put on it. Also with the tequila in there. That's such a smooth drink, it's really good. All right, Abed and I are just sitting here in the lobby on the last night, just kind of soaking it all in. Any final thoughts, Abed? I gotta say, Disney Cruise Line is definitely an experience. If you are a Disney fan, you should definitely come on it. It was our first time on here, and one word, magical. Yeah, it really is magical. It's kind of uh, taking the, the magic from the parks and putting it on the open ocean. Um, nothing but positive things to say and i will say if you're a disney fan do yourself a favor and come on a disney cruise you're not going to regret it even if you're not a disney fan you'll still find stuff that's fun to do um but to truly appreciate it i think you just have to be one of those disney fans that loves disney because you'll you'll appreciate all the finer details that they put into this ship it's really cool but yeah we're, we're waiting for the the kiss good night and then we'll sign off with you guys so uh, we'll see you in a little bit. Alright y'all, that's gonna do it for day four on the Disney Wish. All right, guys, I think that was a fitting end to a magical first Disney cruise. If you like cruising content or other travel content, consider subscribing. We're going to be on the Carnival Vista soon and much, much more. We really appreciate you watching this series. We're going to link a bunch of playlists in the end, uh, and hopefully you'll enjoy some of our content. Yeah, sad to see this uh, wonderful trip come to an end, but it's not the last one. And we have an exciting day at Epcot tomorrow, so we gotta go get ready for that. Thank you so much for tuning in, everyone. 
Until next time, we'll see you on the next recess. Bye.